So I wanted to ask you about uh, broadly about privacy. Yeah. Um, we hear a lot about GDPR coming into force yes. in May. I don't. We don't have to get into the weeds on that, of yeah. course. But um, how does sort of demands for privacy globally affect your business? Good, bad. What do you think? Well, I, th I think it, it does make things uh, much more intricate and much more complicated, but understandably so. I mean, with the sorts of things that have been going on in relation to consumer brand safety, or what I call political brand safety, which is in connection with elections, whether they be Russian supposed interference in the US election, or Brexit, or the German elections, or the French elections, obviously the, the growth of social marketing and digital marketing have meant that political campaigns become much more sophisticated and potentially much more invasive, just like consumer campaigns. And the, the, the battle for data, you know, we've seen it with Google and Facebook, we're seeing it increasingly with Amazon. The battle for data is really more and more important from a political and commercial point of view, and therefore there is bound to be regulation around, around this area in a much more sophisticated way because governments are worried about the implications. I mean, you just have, you know, have investment institutions writing, for example, to Apple about uh, the impact of uh, mobile phone technology on kids' behavior. Uh, you know, that's the, the latest example of it. But we've had a lot of concern about consumer brand safety and content appearing in inappropriate sites, uh, on, a, on inappropriate sites in inappropriate ways. And this obviously is something that is of great interest and concern to governments and they're putting in place regulation. The, um, the problem is that the regulators never keep up with technological development. And uh, you know, we've, had, what, we've got three decisions in Europe in relation to Google, one of which has been, has been given uh, by the uh, DG in the EU, the Director General in the EU, and there are two more decisions to be made. So lots of regulatory things to happen. And I think all of the big seven, as I call them, the seven sisters, so that's the big five in, in the West plus uh, Tencent and Alibaba, all understand uh, that you know, with their size and with their power and with their success, and they've been phenomenally successful, all seven of them, they're all half a trillion dollar companies or such, um, comes with that success comes a responsibility too.